Welcome to the short online learning about massage mediums and this follows the essentials video from Pentany which discusses some of the massage mediums and here is just a little bit more of the theory and the benefits of each type of lotion or uh, medium that's out there and also the ones that we recommend. The first one is massage oil. Now massage oil is probably one of the most common types of massage mediums out there, especially in the holistic massage world. And with massage oil, there's so many different types that you can use and they're all natural. For example, coconut oil, almond oil and rapeseed oil. If you are qualified in aromatherapy, you can use these as the base um, to create your own blend with essential oils. And a little goes a long way and it often feels really good on the skin, especially if you're using something like coconut oil, which is really good for the skin. Some disadvantages and things to think about. The first one is checking for allergies and this one is huge when you're working with massage oils. Um, people can often have nut allergies, so we need to be careful with using nut based products. And alongside that, if you have clients that are going back to work and you're seeing them on their lunch break or before work, Oils can often leave a residue on the skin, especially if they're hairy, can leave that residue on the hairs of the skin. Um, when they put their clothes back on, that can then transfer to their clothes. So that's, that's worth thinking about, depending on when and where you're going to work in your practice. Alongside that, from a clinic perspective, oil can stain the towels and sheets. So quite often you have to replace them because they get that oily smell um, after a little while, even though you've washed them between each client. The next one is lotions and creams and this is probably one of the most common ones for deep tissue and sports massage. They're really good because they're non-stick so your client can get dressed um, straight away without leaving that residue that the oil would leave. It washes quite well uh, and some are hypoallergenic so if you have clients that are allergic to nut allergy, to, to nut, sorry, then this type of uh, massage medium is a really good thing to use um, because it often doesn't have any allergens in it. Saying that, it has a few more chemicals in it than the natural oils would. It tends to go quite a long way on the skin, um, but it does vary from medium to medium. So some may dry the skin out, some can spread really nicely and really moisturize the skin. So it's worth trying a few different types of lotions and creams to see what works well and what fits with you. Alongside that, if you have clients that are quite hairy, so legs as an example on men, uh, creams work really well with hairy legs because they don't get stuck um, between all of the hairs. So you can add a little bit more and it spreads really well on the skin. The next is massage wax and massage wax is a really good type of medium to use when you're trying to do slower and more sustained massage strokes as it allows you to get a really good grip of the of the tissues and it really helps with your palpation as well because you, you're slowing the work down you're slowing the work down of your hands onto the tissues they're often made of either beeswax and uh, or almond oil and if they're made of beeswax some are antibacterial because of the beeswax in them some disadvantages, so the first one is the allergies. So as some are blended with almond oil, you need to check with the ingredients and check with your clients before you start working with them for the first time. And also if you're working with clients that are quite hairy, legs as an, as an example, massage wax isn't really suitable for those types of areas. You need a lot to be able to get that glide of the tissues because a little amount of wax and massage can aggravate the follicles and cause folliculitis. Um, so that's um, aggravation and sort of reddening around the follicles. So if you're working with clients that are a bit more hairy, then go for something like an oil or a massage lotion or cream instead. Liquid wax. Now this is a new type of wax that has come from Songbird. So Songbird have always done massage waxes in tubs and they created this uh, liquid wax which combines the two types of properties together of lotion, oil or wax. And it's like wax but without all of the mess. You haven't got to scoop it uh, with, an, with a tool into a pot or you can use a pump action like you would with normal lotion but it still has a really good grip. It's not as grippy as some of the waxes out there, but it still has a very good grip. So it's like a, an in-between type of lotion. It's used really good for the deep tissue work, allows a good grip of the skin for that slower type of massage strokes. Has the same properties like the wax, that it's made of some beeswax, which is antibacterial, 
And the only real disadvantage is that the excess can get stuck at the bottom of the bottle. Um, the pump action doesn't work towards the end. And the same with all other types of waxes. Just check for your allergies as some are blended with almond oil as well. And lastly, just thinking about allergies and massage mediums again. So common allergies are nut allergies, so from the nut tails, and also sometimes beeswax. It's really important that you check with your client using that consultation for before you see them just to make sure that you have uh, the right massage mediums for the right type of person. And with skin conditions, it's exactly the same thing. So always check with them before you use any type of massage medium. Um, this is why the consultation form is really important to be filled out before they come and see you. The best thing to do is to have a complete array of massage mediums. So try some oils, try lotions, try waxes and balms and test them on your clients when you're doing your logbook hours outside of the, um, the, the live training days because you'll really get to find out which types of lotions and creams work for you and also which types of clients as well. So don't just stick with one all the way through. Try quite a few different ones and see what feels great when you're working. Within the live teaching days, you have access to different types of lotions, oils and wax to try out with your clients and your practice body over each of the teaching days. This way you get to work out which ones work best for certain types of techniques, for certain types of clients, and it gives you an idea of how each one feels on the skin as well. What we do recommend is in your clinic that you have different varieties of mediums to use with different types of clients, as you may have clients that are uh, more hairy that you might need to use more of a lotion or have an allergy as well. So it's, it's about having a different variety for um, all types of clients within your clinic space. And just one final note, as a member of the Sports Therapy Association, you do get access to discounts for the different types of lotions and mediums you have. Also on the Songbird page, you get 25% off as a practitioner also. So it's worth shopping around to see where you can find the best possible price for the different lotions. But also with joining the STA, you get discounts on those as well.